Here is our latest plant heading out this week. This is a 45 foot shipping container. It's heading to a beautiful, beautiful farm in Vernon, Vermont. Um, this is something we've never done before. Each one is different. I love how different each one is. Uh, some of them are similar, but still uh, each one has these little different aspects to it. So we walk into the clean entry room. Double doors going into the processing. Utility sink, exhaust fan, and hot water heater. In the processing room, there's a hand sink, a 100 gallon micro dairy designs bat pasteurizer, chart recorder with the control panel and the parasaltic pump. Also up here is the filtered air intake kit. At the top you'll notice the stainless steel tube cooler that will help speed up your cooling after pasteurization. You can see the line is cut to go to the bottler, but it just swings up and wraps around to the sink. And you wash the lines with this Ben Anderson style stainless steel pump with variable speed drive. There's a little um, hot water and cold water hose port. Really nice picture window so everybody can see the wonders of bottling milk. Here's a carriage machine shop bottle filler for plastic screw cap or glass. I love the ones for plastic or glass, very versatile machines. Farms thinking about their future and uh, glass is definitely up and coming. There will be a Mitsubishi Mini Split installed here up on site. Here is a electric panel, 200 amp. A walking cooler and this walking cooler uh, what these doors are a first for us these are French doors and let me show you something cool in the very end if it will do it and it's so cool it has these glow-in-the-dark candles here we go. So, you can easily take a pallet load of product out or just utilize the smaller door if you're just going through. It's a really nice setup. I hope they enjoy it.